Hello, this is Trevor. Today we're working on another XXE lab in Port Swigger's Web Security Academy. This time we're exploiting XXE to retrieve data by repurposing a local DTD. So there's a check stock feature that does not display the results. We need to get the contents of Etsy password and we need to reference an existing DTD file on the server and redefine an entity from it. And we've already got a hint here. Here's the DTD that we're going to repurpose and the entity. All right, sweet. Let's uh, open the lab. Please remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. I would appreciate it. And let's also open up our little notes here. So normally when we were, when we're trying to do this type of exploit where uh, a blind error, we would do something like this here. Blind error-based exfil. So we would define an external DTD with a, a few uh, parameter entities and then we would use that to cause an error and retrieve the results but this states that we won't be able to use an external file so we need to use an internal file and this is what we're going to do so I'm going to copy this and this is straight from the notes in Portswigger's lab and Let's oh, uh, go here, view details. Let me make sure burps enabled, check stock so that we get that request. Proxy, HTTP history, that one. Send to repeater. Here's our, our XML. So I need to paste this and I need a document type definition starter here. And I'm going to cut this so that it is at the end. Okay. So we need to change out the file, the local file, to what they state here and then we need to change out this custom entity for this ISO AMSO no idea what that would be and then we're reading let's read host name just so if this works, we don't solve it. We're getting a non-existent file, which should cause an error. And that looks good to me. Let's send this. See what we get. Ah, we do get an error, but that looks like a host name. Sweet. All right, so this will be our exploit. Uh, sounds like this one will be pretty fast. Let me just copy this out so we have it. Kate paste and let's name it XXE trigger error message by repurposing local DTD. Vim XXE re uh, XXE what? <laughs> trigger error message. Trigger error message by repurposing dtd.py whoo all right let's grab our template should we grab our template or should we do like this one let's do this one Um, because this has all the pieces we need, let's delete 
this. Okay, we have a shop. DDD file path. We don't. Oh, we can use that. Sure. And DTD custom entity. We'll name that. Put our exploit. We will need to F string that. We'll exploit URL. Post that. Payload. Oh. Sorry, not that. Or that. Or that. We just want this. DT. You know, it was not a good idea to start. I have no idea how many. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. It was not a good idea to start with this. My apologies. Post shop product there. We can get the rest payload. Okay. Whew. Let's uh, take this. And paste it here. Then we'll take this right here and do DTD file path. Here, we're going to change this to DTD custom entity. This is going to be pass WD. Everything else looks fine to me. So here we want ISO, AMSO. And here we want this. Okay, so that looks good. I think we'll have this solved. Oh, wait, not there. Python um, XXE trigger. Run it. Hey, look at that. There's the Etsy password. Lab is solved. Easy peasy. So um, let me recap this real quick. What we did was we, in the document type definition that we submitted, we used a local to the server document type definition to include it and then re- or modified an entity that existed in that DTD to repurpose it for our use. And our use was to trigger an, an error message with the contents of Etsy password. That's it. We submitted it. We saw the text and the text has the Etsy pass, pass WD file. That's it. Uh, not a lot to say on this one. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Goodbye.